I'll show you how to use the QR code tool in Affinity Publisher. This tool lets you easily convey information in a format that users can quickly scan with their phones. To find the tool, I can long click to access the Quick Shapes flyout here. Then release the mouse button once I'm hovering over the QR code tool. I'll hover over this area until the snapping line appears. Then hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows, and click drag to draw out the QR code from a middle origin point. On the context toolbar, I can then modify the QR code data and also change the fill color of the code. I'll click on the data input field to open a dialog box. And here I can change the data type. I have a variety of options, including location, vCard, and email. But for now, I'll stick to URL and change the address then click OK. On this next example, I'll create another QR code, set its fill to black, switch to the Move tool, and align it centrally to the rounded rectangle here. This time, I'll change the data type to Email, and fill in the address, Subject, and body fields. Then I may want to add some creative flair to this code by using one of the images here as a fill instead of just having a solid color. I'll expand the two rectangle layers and find one of the groups. These are the cans. I'll hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, and click drag on the green can group. Then I'll hover over the text of the QR code layer and release the mouse button. This will duplicate that group and clip it inside the QR code shape. Now all I need to do is transform the group to over here, so it renders within the bounds of the QR code. Don't forget to check the QR code with your phone as you go along to make sure it remains readable. Finally, I'll show you a vCard example. Like with the first QR code, I want to align this to the center of the page. I'll wait until the snapping line appears, then hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows to draw from the center. I'll change the fill to white up here. Then I'll change the type to V card and fill out the details for this chef. If I wanted to experiment with different colors, I could also hold Option on Mac. Alt on Windows, then click drag to bring up the color picker. I might sample from the orange text up here, then release the mouse button to assign this color to the QR code. And there we go, some examples of how to use the QR code tool. I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.